what's going on people so today we're going to be checking out a brand new project that i've been working on that i'm really excited to tell y'all about and that's my new app the movie poster app for your vertical tvs for your horizontal tvs it's a new app i've been working on and i'm gonna just give you a quick uh rundown of what it can do but mainly what this video is for is i'm looking for some feedback on some features you may want it to um, add it to this or any improvement so let's go ahead and get into the video and what this can do so pretty much this is a web-based app if you have a home theater like myself and you want to display some uh, digital movie posters this app has you covered i have a very very robust free tier and that's really what i'm focusing on because i tried to use the the movie poster app which i was previous, previously using and I'm sure a lot of you use, but it requires that you have a computer that you download a program, install it and all of that, where this is this web based. So if your TV already has a built in web browser, um, you can do that. As you can see right now, I'm just hooked up to a laptop. But if your TV already has a built in web browser, you can use it straight from the browser. Or if you have an Amazon Fire Stick, you can use it through the Silk browser. You can search posters, you can create playlists, you can change the transitions, you can uh, create as many playlists as you want. You can toggle the duration of the uh, poster, how long you want it to stay before it flips to another one. But this has a little bit more. So if we tap, tap into the actual app, I'm having it on my laptop so you can see a little bit better. So I'm right now I'm signed into my account. You actually don't even have to sign in to check this out. You can just go to the website homecinemashowcase.com to check it out. But what this does, it actually has a sports tab. So if I click on the sports tab, you can bring up sports tab, sports scores, your local sports score. So right now you can see it's displayed sideways. So this app works if you have a TV uh, mount it vertical or horizontal so if you wanted to switch it all you would have to do is go up here and there should be a little toggle right here where you can rotate so if i click that and there we have it you can see it's now rotated and then if i go put it in full screen mode you can get a better idea of what the full um, experience looks like now this also has like a, a custom slider so I know everybody's TVs are different sizes I built in a custom slider so you can adjust the zoom to how you want it I'm trying to do this with one hand right now so all right so uh, right now I, <laughs> I had to put the camera down because I was trying to do that with one hand but right now you can see it's displaying all of the sports scores and you can go into the settings and you can decide like if, if I go into the settings, you can see, uh, let me get that to come back up. You can see some of the options you have as far as uh, sports goals. So you can toggle which sports you want to have covered, NFL, NBA, MLB. You see you have your 10 options there as well as you got the different themes and things like that. So uh, really customizable. Um, I'm really interested to see what some of the other um, additions y'all would like to have to this app. But right now what I'm showing you is what it would look like in a vertical format. Let me go right back to the main screen. There's also a now playing. So if you wanted to look for a particular movie you can do that, go into the search. If I like type in, let's say type in bad boys. And you want to look for a particular movie to display. You can do that and then go ahead and put it in a full screen mode. So a lot of different features. So the next thing I want to show you is this is how it will look if you have a, a vertical mounted TV, but this also can be used on a regular TV, this uh, regular, uh, horizontal or get in regular 16 by 9 format for a tv so i'm gonna go ahead and hook this same thing up over to the tv just hooked up to my arcade system just to give you an idea of how it will look on a regular regular mounted tv so you can have 
your movie posters run on a cycle. Again, you could create playlists for your favorite movie posters. Uh, you can just let the system cycle through the latest movie posters. But let's go ahead and give you a couple more features and I'm gonna end it off with my favorite one. So if I exit out of this and go back into the sports, just to give you an idea what the sports ticker will look like in the vertical format, I think the sports ticker looks the best. So you can imagine if you had this mounted in the wall, on a wall in like a, a man cave bar area or right outside your home theater with all the latest uh, sports scores. Again, this is a very customizable. Right now you can see it has the NFL, so it's showing all of the latest uh, NFL news. And of course there's no games being played right now, but again, you can switch this to MLB, a combination of different sports, but whatever are the sports that you cover, you can flip that too. There's also some customization to how you can make the screen look and all of that. And all of this is web based, which is I think the, the biggest feature for this. You don't need a computer. All you need is a web browser and you can put this up on any TV. But before I let you go, I wanna go to my favorite feature and this is for all of my home theater people. So addition, in addition to having the ability to play movie posters, you can also play movie trailers. Now, unfortunately I did have to limit this to premium users. So as you can see up here on the top, we have the movie trailer. So if I was to click that, it's going to cycle. I probably should put this on mute. Okay, I had to put that on mute because I don't know if I might get a copyright. I might still got a copyright on this movie uh, trailer, but pretty much it'll, I'm trying to move so I don't get a copyright on this movie trailer, but pretty much it'll cycle through uh, random movie trailers and it'll keep looping uh, different trailers. It'll switch every three minutes and it'll give you that nice uh, home theater vibe. Now I was thinking about even mounting a second display. Uh, the movie posted thing, movie trailer thing doesn't really work well on a vertical mounted TV. But if you have, you just wanna have this up on your TV uh, before you start to watch the movies. If you don't have an idea what movie you wanna watch, you can cycle it through a couple movie trailers and figure out which one you wanna watch at your home theater. So I'm really curious to get y'all feedback. I want y'all to go to the app, check it out. Um, let me know what features you want me to add, what improvements I can make. Um, again, I made sure I had a very robust free tier um, because I want everybody to be able to use this. Um, again, it should be a lot easier than the movie poster app uh, because again, no, no PCs needed, no uh, configurations needed. It's pretty much just going to the website and hitting full screen and then go from there. Like I said, you don't even have to sign up to check it out. So I'm curious to see if anybody had a chance to check it out, what y'all think, I'm curious to hear y'all feedback. So let me know down in the comment section what y'all think, and I'll see y'all in the next video.